Oh my god. This game has just changed. The whole velvet shell has been opened, so let's dive right into it. Hello and welcome to my channel, I am Different Breed, and today we will be discussing the full release of the new Velvet Shell Operators from Rainbow Six Siege. If you find any of this information on here useful, or just flat out enjoy this content, consider subscribing. I'll be bringing gameplay, commentary, and more as we go along. Now let's crack open this shell. Let's go through a quick overview of the Operators. If you want to know more about these Operators, check out my previous video where I talk about them in depth. Link is in the description. Jackal is a 2 speed, 2 armor attacker who has 3 primary weapons which consist of an assault rifle, a submachine gun, and a shotgun. He has 2 secondary weapons which consist of a pistol and a shotgun. Yes, if you didn't know, there is now a shotgun as a secondary weapon. For his secondary gadgets, he has stun grenades and breach charges. Yeah, I was wrong in my prediction last video. I didn't think he would have breach charges, but he does. And the most important part, his primary gadget. It is a visor that allows you to view defender's footsteps. More on that later. Mira is a 1 speed 3 armor defender who has 2 primary weapons that consist of a shotgun and a submachine gun. She has 2 secondary weapons which consist of a shotgun and a pistol. For her secondary gadget, she has a nitro cell and a deployable shield. So I was correct when thinking that she would have that. I guess 50% isn't too bad when there's only 2 questions. Her primary gadget is a one way mirror that allows sight through only one side. More on that later. And before we dive right into the full details, I would like to say, if you haven't subscribed yet, do think about it. That way you can be notified of when I post more videos like these and others. If you enjoy this content, please hit the like button so I know that I'm on the right track. Hashtag shameless plug. So let's now go over the full release of the primary gadgets for both of these operators. Again, if you want to know more about their loadouts, check out my previous video where I go a lot more in depth with them. Link is in the description. We'll start with Jackal. His primary gadget, as I said before, is a visor that allows the sight for footprints made by the defenders. You can turn this gadget on and off at will. This does not have batteries, so it will never run down. Meaning, you can have this on the entire round, but you most likely won't want to do that, or you won't be able to do that based on some of the counters that we will go over later. There will be three different color footprints that you can see. Red, yellow, or like a blue and greenish. The footprints turn from a red to a blue slash greenish as time goes on. Red footprints mean that it was recently left, so the defender is close by. Yellow means they were there for a little bit longer, and a blue slash green color means that it's been there for a while. These footprints stay on the map for 90 seconds, so that will give Jackal the ability to think about where the defenders could have gotten within the amount of guesstimated time from what color the footprint is. And then on top of being able to see the footprints themselves, Jekyll has the ability to ping these players and find out their exact location. Now Jekyll can only do this three times per round, and the ping is not constant. When initiated, the defender is instantly pinged, and then the ping continues three more times every 10 seconds. This ping is also available to your entire team. I think it's good that the defender isn't constantly pinged for a certain amount of seconds like Cav's ability is. That way you can see where the defender is and the direction that he's headed in without making Jackal overpowered. Speaking of being overpowered, there are a few ways to counter Jackal. One is with Caviera. When she is in silent step mode, her footprints will not be shown to Jackal at all. She isn't the only one who can leave no footprints either. If you go prone as any operator, you will not leave any footprints. Another way is with Mute. If Jackal is using his visor and steps into an area that is within the range of a Mute Jammer, Jackal's vision will get distorted. Now I have not seen this personally, but I will assume that it is going to be something like a drone. I don't think that it's totally going to block out your vision like a drone does, but I do think that it will severely limit it to the point where you will have to take the visor off to see. Another way to counter him is to shoot at him. If Jackal's visor is deployed and he's getting shot at, his vision will get disrupted. It looks like a 10-15% to 15 of the same effect that when you're droning into a mute jammer. So you can still see, but it is going to be difficult and just about impossible to aim. Now, let's move on to Mira. Mira's primary gadget is called Black Mirror, which is a one-way mirror. On the opposite side, the team will just see a black mirror, hence the name, Black Mirror. She will be able to deploy two of these per round. This can be deployed either on a reinforced wall or a breakable wall. It will span just one spot, not two like I previously thought. You can place this anywhere on the wall, even in the middle of two reinforced walls. It does not span the entire one spot either, so you can place it to the right side or the left side of a reinforced wall. You cannot place this between a reinforced wall and a non-reinforced wall. 
I have not seen this tested, but it would be a good thing to know if the mirror will be destroyed if you put it on a regular wall and then somebody reinforces it. I'll have to test this out in the 7th. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make a video on that. I also did not see this try to be deployed on a hatch, but I would assume that you could. Let me know if you would like to see that as well. Once placed, it is not a permanent bulletproof mirror. There is a canister that holds its pressure and keeps it up, but when the canister is broken, the mirror will drop out and leave a slightly smaller like Habana hole. That way you can have a firefight through it. There are a few ways that mirror can be countered. You can take over the sight of the mirror, push the defenders out of the room. That's an obvious one. Another one is to take the glass out. There are multiple ways to go about doing this. If there is a destructible wall adjacent or behind it, you can shoot through that wall and hit the canister. You can also use a twitch drone to get in and shoot the canister, or you can use explosives. All you have to do is destroy that canister and then it's just a shooting gallery. You can use Hibana or Thermite's explosives to destroy it. Although that will be harder if a bandit is hanging around, but still possible. That is what I saw about their main gadgets. Again, if you want to know more about their loadouts, check out my other video. It should be on your screen right now, bottom left. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. Subscribe to see more videos like this and others that I will post in the future. Thank you for watching. Stay different, everybody.